Hey, what's up you guys? Craft Farms here. Welcome back to another video. We are here in our oat field with all of our bales. We ended up with 74. Um, we got this trailer from the dealership on a lease. Um, just leased it for the day, basically. And... We are going to get all of our bales hauled. It is a auto load trailer. Oh, okay. I apparently have it all messed up. Uh, let's grab one more so I can see which way things are going here. Okay. So we need to get this lined back up. There we go. Um, so yeah, we are going to use an auto load trailer. Normally, I'm not one to use them all that much. I'm not always a fan of it, but uh, I want to get the bales hauled off and do it in a timely manner. So. We're going to go the unrealistic route and use this. Every once in a while I like to switch things up and go a little out of uh, the comfort zone, so to speak. Transport. And head off with the first load. So we should, in theory, have plenty of straw for a little while at least. I don't think this is going to last us all the way through next year, but uh, I guess we'll just have to see. So we're going to get this backed up right along here and shift them over. So we need to go quite so far and drop them down. Okay, and Y to unload. Oh, whoops, okay. I need to do it after I hit unload. Now I'll unload. And reset auto load. Okay, there we go. So after we get two more cuttings off our alfalfa, then uh, we should have about the same amount of bales, roughly, uh, between our hay and our straw, which will be perfect. Um, more bales, the better, in all reality. And the nice thing too is uh, dealership said that we just need to give them a call uh, later on today whenever we get done with the trailer and they'll 
Whoops. They'll come and pick it back up for us. So that uh, will be nice. So once we're done, all we got to do is give it a quick rinse. Um, they just ask that we get it cleaned up and then uh, <clears throat> they will uh, come get it for us. So we'll get our bales, all of the bales hauled in. And then we're going to get our auger uh, taken down, or actually we're going to set it up on our next bin because we're going to have sorghum to combine next month, so, oh, wrong way. Um, so yeah, we'll have that, and then, so we'll get it set up on our next bin, and then we will go in and figure out how much money we're going to need to buy our cattle, and then, uh, that probably will be all. Probably be a little bit shorter of a video again today. Um, I mean, I know the time lapse was obviously shorter because they usually are, but I don't want to really jump into anything else too major. And then barely get started and that be it so oh come on there we go okay we just need two more grab this one on our way out I think we got two more trips yet, probably. And we'll have to give this pickup a wash, too, when we get done. I think what else we're going to do today is we're going to widen that uh, driveway right there. We're going to make it even with uh, where the building is there. Just kind of open it up a little bit there. Make it a little nicer coming in and out of with machinery and stuff. Yeah, we'll do it even right there across. Just to make it a little nicer coming in and out. And I know right here needs some smoothing. We'll do that as well. Because there is a little bit of a rough spot right there. Or a little bit of a dip. Or, I guess I shouldn't say dip, I should say a ridge. that one I 
I was just going to lease the uh, hay hiker that they had, but it was three times as much as it was to rent this trailer. So, I said, uh, yeah, we'll just take this thing then. So we gotta come back for two bales, and then we will be good. And we'll have this taken care of. And then we'll be one more job checked off of the list. We should probably grab a screenshot here quick. Before I forget. So we should have 72 in here. And we do. And then we have 26 alfalfa bales. So we'll go grab our last two and give these a bath. We're also going to wash up our combine and header before we uh, start our next crop. So we want to get them cleaned up a little bit. And we're going to hook this back onto the draper header anyways for our sorghum, so might as well wash it while we're there. Perfect. Fish channel a little bit. Perfect. So there is that job done. Now we'll pull this up here and get this trailer washed off. Just pull this up here behind the building out of our way where it's easy for them to hook on. Oh, let's open the tailgate so we don't wreck that. Perfect. Alright. Let's make some adjustments here. Landscaping paint. And we want gravel. Perfect. Got a little bit of a spot here that I messed up on. Okay, and then we'll switch it over to grass. We're going to even this out. Ok, 
Okay. Sculpting. Soften. It's right in here. Oops. Too much. There we go. And I think there was one other spot here in the middle. That was a little rough. Perfect. All right. So let's grab this header. And we're going to get this spun around. And wash the pickup and the header off. Just get some miscellaneous chores done, basically. Get the truck looking all pretty again. can close this up. We don't need anything in here for right now. Actually, I didn't wash our spreader or our sprayer. So, we'll pull those over and wash those up as well. Because we're going to wash up our baler and our tractor before uh, we switch back over to alfalfa with it. There were some uh, simple IC spots on this where you could open some stuff. There should be. I don't know, maybe I just have the wrong version of it or something. Now our trucks should be okay. I don't think they're very dirty. They didn't do a whole terrible lot. So we'll leave those go. Alright. And then we can close this up. We don't need that open anymore. <clears throat> okay, let's go get this washed. So, close that door. We shouldn't need in the shop for a little while.
Perfect. So we can go drop this. We'll wash our spreader and sprayer off. And then uh, get this hooked onto the rake. Because we'll probably cut our alfalfa first. That's kind of what I'm thinking. Now we'll swap for the sprayer. Then we'll have this part done. And then I think all that's left is we will price out our cattle. this thing cleaned up quick because it is well I guess it's got one more time that's got to get used maybe twice but we can always after our third cutting we can always uh, wait to fertilize and lime it uh, until spring but we might just get it done so I guess this and the spreader will have two more rounds of use, but that's all right. We still want everything to be clean and look nice, so. All right, so there's that. Now we got our buildings all closed up. There we go. That should work. OK. 
Okay. So there's that. Now, our last thing for today is let's price out some cattle. So, we're going to buy... Do we want to buy heifers or cows? I would say we could buy cows. And then... So, what I want to do is we're going to buy... We're going to start off with 25 head. So, we're going to buy 24 cows. So, we need... 38, 133 for our cows, and then 1987. So we need a, just over 40,000. So in all reality, we could afford it, and we could honestly buy them right now. Mm-hmm. <laughs> How long is our video? Uh, 27. Yeah, I think we'll just wait till after we're done harvesting all that and we'll actually drive in t into town and go get them. And uh, we'll just spend a video hauling them. Oh, it's only got a trigger on the one door. Apparently. Oh, no, you just got to open it from the outside. Hmm. So, yeah, that is what we're going to do. So, I think that's going to do it for today. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, be sure to hit that thumbs up button. And uh, if you're new to the channel, welcome. Hit that subscribe button if you like what you see. And as always, folks, we'll catch you all in the next video.